Hello everybody, welcome to a very special video. This one is going to be going over a spreadsheet that I did which looks at different types of narratives or scenarios of grind for the Sentinels of Liberty event meet the side event. Now I did talk about this a little bit but I didn't go into a great amount of detail and I certainly didn't have any spreadsheets available. Now I have got uh, two spreadsheets. One is one scenario, one is a second scenario. Why are there two scenarios, Rich? Well, it's just based on the objectives that come with the event. So there's a solo event and then there's a further objective, which allows you, if you are doing 28 runs, which I think is the norm, then you can do a 29th and 30th if you do not collect the Platinum Pool Challenges pieces. So if you choose not to choose the piece, you get an option, another club or another piece. And what I've done in this particular video is I've broken down scenarios of getting it, or getting both of them, if you are Thronebreaker and Cavalier, or, you know, um, not getting it. So getting it, not getting it. I've done those two scenarios and also broken down the more spicy rewards. Also, I've included Uncollected in what you get this month and as well the fact that you can come close as an Uncollected player to get over 8,700 six-star shards. So let's delve into this. As a lot of you know, each day you have a choice where you can collect your clubs and then go in at one time with those Hephaestus clubs, spending them either the shard option, which is recruit, or train, which is the rank up material option. So two options of grind for you. Let's now go over the scenarios in action. Two scenarios. Scenario number one is if you pick the additional club scenario. So you'll pick an additional two clubs, especially if you are Throne Breaker and Cavalier. It's uh, one additional one for those that are uncollected, which is why it's 29, versus the um, the Cavalier Throne Breaker, which is 30, if you don't pick up the club. So if you don't pick up the club, you'll do 29 runs of the six stars at 400 per time, 11,600, so you get a really nice sizable amount. Plus the 300 there, it will give you 11,900, plus the 2,000 you get from the milestone is 13,900 six star shards on offer if you don't pick up the pieces of, uh, and, and decide to pick up the club for the Platinum Pool objectives. So that's pretty incredible. There's also a good amount of five star shards on offer, getting you just below three fully formed. So that's the shard side of things. Uncollected and the shard side of things gives you 8,700 six star shards. So this is a really good opportunity for uncollected players to get something and get two, uh, the equivalent to two five star champions uh, as a result as well. So this is a really good opportunity uh, for, throw, for, for uncollected because again, with the platinum pool thing, if you don't pick up, then you grab it. I've got to be honest, I don't think it's a big difference. And I personally, if you want to know my opinion is, I would say get the pieces if you do not have the pieces because it will mean that there's not so much of a difference that there's not so much of a gain by a small amount of shard increment right there. So if you don't pick up the club for the rank up side of things, you will get 39,000 based on 29 runs, 39,875 of the tier five basic fragments. 116,000 uh, from the tier 2 alpha in legendary plus these additional ones in here it just means with tier 5 basics you're going about let's say 30k and then with the tier 2 alpha you're just adding a little bit more which is like 100 and uh and 30,000 no it's not 130,000 120,400 but you do also get an additional 9k milestone uh, for tier 2 alpha so that will kind of add on to that especially for those that are throne breaking and cavalier not sure if the same for uncollected but uncollected if you want to know how much we rank up resources 29 runs will get you 29,000 tier 5 basics and 40,000 tier 2 alpha so yeah i don't know if there's something on the uh, solo event i doubt the solo event for the uncollected but i do think there's something added in there so it gives you that extra bit of spice as i said great opportunity for those that are uncollected to do 29 runs at least and grab some some good stuff back maybe some other grinding you may even get a fully form six star this month which is incredible if you are uncollected um so yeah uh, maybe you look this as an opportunity uh to grab something especially with the summoner uh, the summoner event the summer event you could be bagging yourself something really good this month here's the scenario that's the most interesting one and i refer to this as the mixed 21 to 7 run a bit of a weird kind of thing you have to bear with me on this to explain it so essentially it is 20 runs and this benefits cavalier and throne breaker 20 runs in the recruit 
in Legendary, one in Epic, and seven in the Train. So it balances that 28 runs because you won't be getting those two additionals, you'll just be doing 28 runs flat, for example. And with this, this is you collecting and getting the platinum pool pieces as opposed to getting the extra clubs. So you'll always do say the 28 to kind of like keep it um, the mo most structured possible. And also you'll be incorporating your grind with grabbing stuff from the milestones. So those uh, Sentinels of Liberty solo events. So how this really works is if you're Cavalier and Thronebreaker, you get 2,000 six star shards, 9,000 tier two alpha from the milestones. So you can balance that with your grind and picking and choosing what you want. Now, here's the process. So with the legendary difficulty doing six star shards, 400 per run, 20 comes to 8,000. Five star shards, 20,000. Again, that's incremental. It's nothing really to worry about. And the same thing when it comes to here, six star shards, 300, five star shards, 700. They're extra additions to these particular totals here. So it's 8,300. Unfortunately, we couldn't find a, po a possible way to kind of make it as 19 runs because of how many uh, shards you earn. But essentially you're doing 20 runs in legendary for the recruit and then one in the epic just to guarantee yourself the piece of the fabulous one or if you've got that piece and that's the thing you don't have to do this method you know you could just go like okay well i'll take an, an additional club and bennett and kind of go into that uh, other scenario where you just collect the clubs that's just the thing it's all about pointing out that if you've got the piece you don't need to do it again but if you don't if you do have the piece you can, you can grab another kind of club if you don't have it then you know go for it grab it because it's helpful it's beneficial so you have seven more additional runs to use. Where do you use them? Well, use them in the in the train where you can get some more tier two alpha, as I said here. So for seven runs, tier five basic, you can get 9,625 fragments, right? That's not the interesting thing. But the interesting thing is a tier two alpha because the seven runs times 4,000, you get 28,000. 28,000 fragments plus the 9,000 you get from the tier two alpha um, from the milestones get you that fully formed tier two alpha, which is great. Now you don't have to do this. I would say, and I would stress that not everybody's gonna be on zero when it comes to their tier two alpha and as well their six star shards. They may be at a certain number. However, though, this gives you an idea of going, hmm, do you know what? I can actually reduce the number of grinds in train in order to bump up the runs in the, the recruit. So that's the thing. This is what I'm trying to give you the perspective of. You don't have to go, oh, let's let's do all my runs in, in the, for the shards. Yeah, it may help you down the line of like uh, accumulating a volume of six star shards. But the beneficial side of things is just going, you do you with what you require and what you need. However, it's important to note those objectives. If those objectives weren't in, I think everybody would kind of like know exactly what they're doing. However, with this, because you need to either get the piece of the fabulous one or platinum pool uh, or don't get it you have this choice get a club get a piece get a club get a piece and that's the case of like your process so it's just a little bit of a, a quick tip just kind of like look over the process of grind and also you know look at your milestones whether or not you actually need to do all 28 runs in one type of difficulty or you need to balance it this just hopefully gives somebody perspective so uh, so yeah that's been the video hope you enjoyed it this spreadsheet should be available in the discord appreciate everybody that comes by and chills in the discord and, and interacts and stuff and thanks very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it please hit the like button subscribe for more stuff like this up here and i've got a really cool hulk video dropping a little bit later on today so i hope you enjoyed that as well and the podcast which features kingslayer so uh that'll be really cool see you later on Bye bye